Now, if you have a large meeting and if you want to take advantage of pre-assigning people to breakout rooms, I highly recommend you use this feature. So when you schedule a meeting, number one, in order to take advantage of this, you want to go into account management, account settings, and then here you can simply search for a breakout. It will take you to this section here. Number one, make sure that breakout room is actually enabled. Then you want to make sure both of these check marks are on. So now coming back to your meetings tab, you're going to just set up a test. Scroll down, make sure you click on show more for those options. I don't know why they would hide it and select all your session meetings. This is the option here it says breakout room pre assign. You have two things that you can do. Number one is create rooms. So I'm going to do that for you right now. It says no groups, one breakout rooms and to add more. I need to click the plus sign here. You'll notice that the requirement is that you can create up to 50 breakout rooms and assign up to a total of 200 participants. So that's actually quite a lot here. You're able to import from CSV. So let's click on that. And here you can drop a CSV file. Now, uh, zoom made it even easier for you to download this template. So here, as you can see, you can pre assign people to rooms. You can have up to 50 rooms. And here are people's emails. Make sure it's the same email they will be using to join your zoom meetings. So here I'm just going to create a few tests. And I'm going to just for now, get rid of the additional rooms. I got room one, one and two and two. Now I can also change the name of the rooms as well. I can say age five to seven. And then this is age eight to 11. Let's say like, so make sure you save the file. You close out of it. Now you come back to your zoom meeting. You're going to browse your file and upload that like so. So as soon as you upload it, you'll notice that now your room name is set. So are the emails. And what you can also do here is you can actually edit the name further, which I'm not going to do, but I want to show you the options and you can also move people between the groups. You can remove them all together. Again, you see when you have just four people, that's easy. But imagine if you have a hundred people, a thousand, that spreadsheet is going to go a long way. Now, when you're done, just hit save. And here, once all that's said and done, you're able to see two breakout rooms edit. Now I'm going to save this meeting right now. And now I'm going to click start this meeting. All right. Now, once I'm inside the meeting, it's just me. And what I will do is I'll click on this breakout room. You see here now when I click the breakout room, I see the information I entered, but I don't see the people yet because they're not here in this meeting with me. I can rename the room. I can delete the room. If I need just say one or two additional rooms, something that I left out, I can do so right here. I can rename them like that. Once your participants are in, you're able to see them here. All right, let me go ahead and join this meeting as an attendee. This is one of the emails that I selected to be in the breakout room. Now, once I'm in, let's take a look at what it looks like in the breakout room. Boom. Right then and there, I identify that I did try to register. It already sees me as someone under the age five to seven group. Obviously I am not, and I'm already waiting there. But at the same time, I'm still our, I'm still a participant. This window is only visible to host and co-hosts. There's nothing happening to the attendees right now. Nobody's getting thrown into breakout rooms until you click open all rooms right here. Additionally, I want to mention real quick about this options button. You can allow participants to choose their own rooms, which is not the case we're talking about. Allow participants to return to the main session at any time. If you have children and you have group leaders, you want to uncheck that. You don't want these kids to bounce back to the main room when it's not time. Here you can also check automatically move all assigned participants into breakout rooms. Additional options here that you might find helpful prior to the meeting are auto close breakout rooms after one minute. And here countdown after uh, closing breakout rooms, countdown timer could be 10 seconds. That's actually pretty helpful. So there's that. If we go ahead and open all rooms right now, uh, now you will see that my screen does give me this option to um, basically join the room. And it already says 
If I tab real quick, you can see that now I'm already part of the five age five to seven group. There's also one option on my screen that allows me as an attendee to say, you can invite the host to this breakout for any assistant. So that could be really helpful when you can have one host, but also multiple co-hosts. I can also broadcast a message to all of them and say, Hey girls, once I broadcast something, it can be seen on everybody's computers. It's at the bottom of the screen. Hey girls, we'll resume main session in five minutes. And here I can also close all rooms. Now it says breakout will end in eight seconds and I'll get this little monitor. Now the rooms have all closed and now I'm back to the main session. So I hope that was helpful guys. Good luck to your small or large meetings. Have fun with breakouts. This method will work really well for education for events, as well as for dance and fitness classes. Let me know in the comments below what else you would like to learn. Again, this is Faye from Faze World Media. I would love it if you come check out our ultimate guide to Zoom 2022. We will get to see all the Zoom videos related to Zoom, but without the YouTube ads. Thank you so much for your support and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.